everybody, I hope you're having a good day. It's been a while since I've talked about any of the families of the orchestra. Um, we have talked about the string family and the brass family already in different videos, and today we are going to talk about the woodwind family. The woodwind family is Miss Hatch's favorite because I actually know how to play two instruments from that group. So Miss Hatch knows how to play the flute and the saxophone. And at the end of this video, I will get my flute out. It will take me a second, um, but I will show you myself what it sounds like. All right. So the Woodwind family. Remember we said that there were families of the orchestra and they all lived in a house together and they lived on a street to make the neighborhood called the orchestra. So the Woodwind family includes instruments such as the piccolo, which... The piccolo is played the same way as the flute. Here's the flute, but the piccolo is a lot smaller and it makes higher pitched noises. Then we have the oboe. And if you were a first grader and you've seen Peter and the Wolf, the oboe is the one that makes the sound of the, the duck. Then we have the clarinet. And in Peter and the Wolf, the clarinet made the sound of the, of the cat. Here is the saxophone, um, which is the other instrument that Miss Hatch knows how to play. And finally, we have the bassoon, and the bassoon is very large. And in Peter and the Wolf, the bassoon was the sound that the grandpa made. And let's see what it says down at the bottom. The Woodwind family includes the piccolo, oboe, flute, clarinet, saxophone, and bassoon. It is made up of tube-shaped instruments that musicians play by blowing into air into them. The instruments include holes that players cover with their fingers or close by pressing on keys to play different notes or make different sounds. Many woodwinds have a reed, a thin piece of wood on the mouthpiece that vibrates when played. Instruments may be single reeded, clarinet and saxophone are single reeded, and or they can be double reeded and the bassoon and the oboe use double reeds. And then over here it says, follow the leader. Orchestra instruments must be tuned to each other so the notes on the instrument play at the same pitch as the same notes on every other instrument. The oboe leads the orchestra in tuning before each performance. The oboe plays a pitch called tuning A that all the other musicians adjust their instruments to match. Now, if there is not an oboe, it's because sometimes like in band, not every band has an oboe player. So if there's not an oboe pl player, they use the clarinet to tune to. So that's some information on the Woodwind family. And I'm gonna go get my flute really quick. And the flute has three pieces. There's the body. This long part is the body. Then there's the head. The head is what I make sound into. And then this at the bottom is called the foot. And this is what the flute sounds like. It's been a while since I played, so give me a second. And then I have a piccolo too. And piccolo is probably Miss Hatch's favorite. This is the piccolo. And just like the flute, it has a head and a body, it doesn't necessarily have a foot because it doesn't have three pieces. And it is very high, so prepare yourself. 
and that's all I'm gonna play because I have neighbors really close to me and I'm I don't know if they want to hear this but that that is the flute and the piccolo and I will show you again so you can see the size difference the flute is very long the piccolo is small and those are two of the instruments that Miss Hatch knows how to play so I hope you enjoyed learning about the Woodwind family and um, we will do the profession family next. Have a great day, guys.